Uh, welcome to Berlin, where I have a band called Magot with me. First of all, guys, please tell me who and what are a band called Magot. Actually, I uh, caught this band uh, in 2011 when I actually founded this band and I was looking for some uh, majestic name. And Magoth is uh, a demon king uh, called from uh, some stories from Abraham von Worms. Okay, and uh, you just released your debut album, Anti Terrestrial Black Metal. How would you describe the new album in your own words? Um, the title seems to be very extreme, but um, we're calling ourselves a live band, so we're putting very much effort to produce a certain emotion and uh, to bring this emotion to the people. And I'm talking about um, extreme emotions, so that's why we choose this uh, new kind of word to describe um, the emotion we're uh, talking about is hate. And uh, this hate goes about everything so far and we're starting right now. So um, we're working uh, on how to get out this emotion without being and we choose different topics to um, connect with this emotion and that's it so far and we're working to get it more uh, precise with our music through our instruments yeah so far and we're working on this um, this um, energy we're trying to bring out well actually uh, anti-terrestrial black metal um you know, we called this album uh, Enter Terrestrial Black Metal just because, uh, you know, there's so much uh, hate in our hearts and in, in ourselves and there's so much uh, bullshit going on in this world right now. And so, uh, you know, it's it's a very, very negative, uh, very negative word, Enter Terrestrial Black Metal, but, uh, you know, all this negativity goes into this word from our hearts and uh, so uh, there will be a lot more uh, titles from us that will even uh, go on top of this anti-terrestrial black metal term. Okay, so the feeling is hate, but uh, where else do you draw, draw inspiration for your music? Yeah, you know, we're all uh, kind of uh, working some uh, social... Uh, so we are all social workers uh, in our private lives and uh, we we see so many so many uh, negative things uh, in our daily life and so uh we we get a lot of inspiration for uh, doing our black metal music but as well for the title in the end mm. yeah if hate is everywhere and you can get inspired by everything by music you listen to to by people you watching at you're staring at and everywhere everything is inspiration every culture for us is inspiration and yeah but the first thing about is the hate that's just raising our hearts and we just have to have yeah, some kind of breakthrough and just spread it into the masses and do the best of it and what does black metal mean to you as a genre? Uh, it's uh, freedom, freedom of speech to me, because uh, you know there there's just no other uh, music genre that uh, would fit to to those thoughts that I got in my head and this uh, this hate and those negative feelings that I uh, get in my heart. And uh, you know, uh, for me, black metal is a very, very uh, extreme type of music. You know, of course, there are other uh, extreme types of music, but black metal, you know, through its speed and through, um, you know, the, the hate and the sound and the vocals and everything like that, you know, you just get you just get to scream your hate and your disappointment into this word out of uh, directly out of your lungs, in my case, because I am the vocalist, but uh, as well through the drums and through the guitars, through the bass. You know, it's it's just a, a wall of sound that we're creating, and you know, to me, there's no other music genre that can actually uh, bring bring out uh, this kind of rage. Uh, black metal as a genre has a pretty heavy burden of history. Does this uh, history affect you at all? And 
If it does, how? Um, of course, you're, you know about the history. Um, the more you put into the music, the more you want to know where it's coming from. Uh, I'm talking about myself right now, but I think uh, we are all... Um, we have our image created by history and we got connected to this kind of music and we all felt like it can express the most feelings that we feel and yeah so you look at history but you have to try to be uh, yourself otherwise you're just a copy and that's not worth showing so we're constantly working on keeping to ourselves and just let our own emotions come out um, influenced by the history and uh, yeah these other bands that gave us this rage first the ideas for this rage and we're trying to fulfill it with our characters well you know um I, i'm not i'm not a history teacher but you know uh, i i learned a lot about uh, or i read a lot about uh, the times in the, in the 1990s and maybe a little bit before that where you know there was there were some kids you know in some norwegian norwegian towns little towns and they had nothing to do and uh, you, kn you know everyone knows this uh, shit about the Euronymous and Vari uh, Vikanes and all this shit but to me you know uh, this is not really a burden because they were actually the founders of a genre that uh, helps me to fulfill uh, to get my hate out of myself you know uh, we're not we're not church burners because you know uh, here in Germany every church is made of stone so it's pretty hard to burn uh, some churches down but uh, of course they would deserve it of course they do because you know religion and all the stuff is just uh, poison for for human beings you know I think every human being should be free uh, of, of thinking and so uh, of course we got a burden on ourselves but uh, to me this is kind of like a third wave or a fourth wave of black metal if you want to call it so and uh, we're actually uh, especially in Germany this is a really 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 big scene and a really fast growing scene here so yeah keep your eyes open for more stuff that uh, will happen in the future especially from the German bands especially from the underground general from yes the from the gen general from the underground yes yeah according to uh, the church burning maybe Stone churches can burn, but black metal will fucking break every stone. Yeah, as you said, uh, we are now uh, experiencing maybe the fourth wave of black metal. How do you guys see the future of the genre at the moment? Well, I think uh, at the moment there's uh, a lot of uh, um, post-black metal stuff going on, you know. There are a lot of really good bands actually coming up right now, you know. Uh, like like uh, Ngua or uh, Der Weg einer Freiheit from Germany. or There are so many bands to, to name actually at this moment. But uh, I think uh, there will be a lot, of, uh, lot more stuff in the future. But what I can see at the moment is there is a lot of experimentation, you know, to, to kind of break down break down the walls that this uh, so-called true black metal genre uh, has around it and uh, a lot of bands are trying to uh, bring a, m a much more uh, different instruments or uh, other uh, melodies uh, that are so so untypical for black metal but uh, all over I think uh, when you call it the fourth wave or whatever uh, of black metal then uh, there is a lot of lot to come in future but in all over I got the feeling that uh, kind of it's going back to the roots again you know there's a lot of uh, true black metal bands right now that are uh, kind of rising up and so I think uh, in future there will be a lot more bands uh, coming out that um, yeah will kind of kind of bring this uh, true black metal genre black uh, back to its roots okay and coming back to Magot the uh, band was founded in 2011. How would you describe the band's journey so far and how do you see the band's future from now on? Well, uh, I founded the band itself in 2011 and then there was a long time I was uh, searching for musicians. Uh, in 2013 I actually uh, recorded uh, a demo tape 
and uh, but I was uh, still uh, looking for uh, people because I actually wanted to uh, re-record this demo tape uh, because I was just um, recording it by myself in, in the studio of course but everything was made by me but uh, after that I, w I thought yeah maybe I could uh, try it out with uh, some more musicians to give it a better sound maybe because when it just comes from one person it uh, it almost uh, tends to sound a little bit dull I think um, but actually uh, I was looking for uh, my for bandmates and uh, the first guy who came to the band was him Shakna and uh, a very very short time after that uh, Felix uh, Vidria was joining my band or our band and that to that time and um, yeah, we actually were playing those songs and we, we saw uh, in a pretty short while that we could uh, get along with each other pretty good. And then we started uh, to release actually this uh, demo tape that I recorded to this time because we thought, hey, my, man, uh, it sounds, it, when we play it uh, together, it sounds actually quite the same. So why re-record it when I actually recorded a whole album or a, a demo to this time? You know, and then we uh, started to play some gigs. Uh, our first gig was last year of summer in 2016. And we actually had uh, some guest bass player with us. And uh, But we didn't get along with him so well. So after a short while, Havok joined our band as a bass player. And we're pretty happy about that. And uh, we started to record four more new songs. And then decided to record it. And uh, then it yeah, got anti-terrestrial black metal. Okay, thank you very much guys and break leg tonight at Blackland. Thank you very much.